You stepped away from USA Basketball this year to recharge both mentally and physically. How did that time away help you coming into the NBA season? Oh, man, it just gave me a few, uh, few months of rest, and, uh, you know, really that's about it. I was excited to play, but I also thought I needed some rest in order for me to be, uh, be ready for the season. So it was a good decision. So when you look at um, OKC the last few years, you guys made it to the NBA Finals in 2012. What has been your biggest obstacle in making a return? Uh, well, we had some unfortunate circumstances with injuries before, but that's a part of the game. Um, but we just got to continue to be who we are. I think we built a nice identity here, um, you know, which is defense first and, and moving the ball on offense. And we've grown every single year since then. So I'm looking forward to a great year this year. Uh, we just got to take it a day at a time. Injury has been a big part of the storyline for you the last couple of seasons. How has that changed maybe your preparation coming into this year? A lot, man. Uh, rest. Uh, getting the proper rest is very important. I think uh, over the off season, I made a conscious effort of, um, you know, find a way to get rest, but at the same time still get enough work in to be able to expand my game. This is a young team, especially in its core with you and Kevin. How does that help in developing the leadership? Um, it's important. Um, myself and Kevin, you know, take that, you know, very personal to be able to come in every year and be better leaders. Um, you know, basketball stuff will take care of itself, but I think uh, leadership is something that we can improve on every year. And speaking of improvements, every off season, every player, every coach looks back and say, what do we need to do different or better? What is that like for you coming into this year? Um, I mean, I'm just thinking about our team, just thinking about what we can do as a team to try to make that next step. We're doing a great job, you know, every season of making ourselves a, a playoff caliber type team. And, you know, now we have a core group of guys that can make that happen. We're just trying to find a way to make the next step. And here's a look at the top five scorers from a season ago and how many times they failed to reach 20 points. Durant was the runaway winner in this rare category, falling short of 20 only four times as he led the NBA in scoring at 32 PPG. Let's talk about Kevin Durant, who of course won Kia NBA MVP a season ago, first time in his career. And with Russell Westbrook out, had to play more minutes, had to be everything every single night. You saw the assists go up, but this year, you know, hoping and, and, you know, for the sake of this argument, assuming Westbrook will be healthy, is there some maintenance or some management that will go on with Kevin Durant to keep him fresher for the long haul? Well, I think he's already done that, not being a part of USA Basketball. So I think his body, mind will be fresher. I want the assist to go up some more. Why? Because you learn from San Antonio, when you have that third, fourth, and fifth guy on the floor feeling comfortable, they can make shots, they're touching the basketball. So now when you start getting double teamed, now guys are catching the ball, they're not caught like a deer in headlights because they haven't touched it so long. That's why I want other guys to be involved. Now your assists go up, now your efficiency goes up because we know the ball's going to be in your hand late game situations. Yeah, not better said because the one thing I'd like to see Kevin Durant do, if he played a little bit more in the post, his mm -hmm. teammates would be better able to mm -hmm. play off of him mm -hmm. because he'll command that double team. He commands that extra attention. And now when the ball is distributed on the perimeter, you're just asking guys to make step in jump shots, which helps, right? The efficiency yeah. of your team. It helps the versatility of your team. And if there's one thing I hope that Durant used the summer for, it's to add a post game.